Hello everyone, welcome to TechEQH channel. In this video, we are going to see about uh, server and web server. So what is server and what is web server? So we are always uh, getting confused if any app is interacting with the server, like uh, and sometimes they will say web server. So what is server and what is web server? Uh, like if you take my machine, it's a server. If it is able to uh, contact through a remote or I have logged in with some server, right? For example, I have told you enter the SSH username at the rate IP, then after enter password. So you will be connected to one machine. That whole machine is a server, remote server you can see. Inside the web server, for example, I can show Tomcat, Apache Tomcat. It's a web server. Here we have installed Apache Tomcat to deploy the apps in it. So this Apache Tomcat will taking care of uh, publishing our web application and uh, collecting the logs for that particular web application everything let me go inside apache tomcat so how to go cd apache tomcat the folder that's why i have given the commands in previous video if you're not able to uh, getting the commands if you're if you're not getting the commands no just see my previous video to know all my basic commands of linux okay so we have inside apache tomcat now that you can see it here so basically what are the folder structure you will get it bin config lib license logs and temp web app and work in this all this folder like we need uh, three or more important here one is web ops and another is logs and another is bin web ops web apps logs and bin so in this we are going to touch with like bins and logs because web apps, when we deploy only the, that time, we are going to touch the web apps. So web apps is the folder directory where we can deploy our war file or HTML file, anything. So that it will be accessible to everyone. If the server is uh, allowed to access from the remote with public IP. So if you have developed some application or any HTML page, you have to deploy it here only. If you put into desktop of the server and if you are trying to launch, it won't work. So let me go to web apps okay there are a lot of application they have in that i have one uh, site called dharma site dharma site i have opened dharma site this is the one web application just think like that here we have a index.html okay this index.html is the file will trigger first when i am calling this dharma site why because index.html is the default uh, file name to launch we have mentioned it in the config dot uh, like config files so if you are going to develop something HTML or home page, you want something put into index from there. You can uh, like uh, divert to next page page, single style dot CSS, uh, contact dot HTML, anything. So CSS and font, this is a web uh, website actually. So we have this many files that we have to put into web apps only. So this is what web apps will do. You can put as many as so, uh, like application website in this. So only the folder name will be different. So when you are entering the URL also, maybe something like your IP address or if you have some domain name something like mytest.com then slash you can give the folder name dharma site so now it won't work because mysite.com is not valid one okay instead of dharma site if you want to access uh, uh, something like help folder or docs docs it won't work something like I have task manager training so you can change the folder name here it will work so that's that's how you can deploy multiple apps in single web server there's no need you need multiple server for multiple applications so single web server you can change the port or you can change the sub uh, like subdomain kind of thing or you can give the path like this so whatever you can do that all configuration is available so mostly that devops will take care if you know the know how to do you can also do it so i'm going back then do ls here logs i have told you right if any bug came where you will see the logs if any uh, when they are trying to access your web application and uh, if you are up if you are sending some data to the db if any bug came and how can you see the logs so i have told you you have to see the server log server log server log so this is the log actually so the logs folder will have all the logs the logs here you can see all the logs from date wise 2018 uh, maybe some part it may not be updated because we are not using it yeah we have so uh, catlina 
out the date will be there so particular date you will get a logs for every day so that one you can check it out or catlin out or there will be console.log also okay Loc localhost access log is there now this also you can check so with the date so you can check and you can see whatever is uh, happening there and uh, if you have some other application you can you can rename the log name also like that see open clinica there is some application so it has some other kind of log you can just put so i will just put one localhost log VA open 2018 yeah so there are you just someone is try to do uh, go to this page and it downloaded this it downloaded google sam so so this uh, these are all the file uh, these are the file triggered from the server so it has the log if any error came you can see it here only okay so i can close it if you don't want to save if you want to save like if you want to come out from that va escape colon q exclamatory so you will come out so this is what we have to see the logs and the last uh, step or important thing i have to tell you go back you will see a bin folder okay go to go inside bin and do ls you can see here one is like uh, shutdown.sh and startup.sh if you are using windows system you can use bat file and um, if you are using linux or mac you have to use uh, shutdown.sh in the sense like if the server is window based bat you have to run if the server is linux based sh you know mostly it will be linux based so if you want to shut down the server you have to use shutdown.sh and just enter so server is shut down you cannot access the access in the ui maybe okay because server is server is shut down that's why now if i want to start up same dot slash startup dot sh tomcat server is started now now if you check the ip address of this server you can go to the particular uh, local host or it will show the website or whatever it is i think now it is loading fine so after after start just wait for some time it will show you the web page yes it shows tomcat web page even we have some therma site right that also we can check it here okay and we can check training also see lot of uh, trainings or training i am not sure yeah you can you can see some training folder inside you can see directory uh, so this is what the server is if you shut down you cannot access it's an hometown right if it is automatically shut down if the site is not uh, accessible you can check is this actually shut down or not you can come and start up the things see if i shut down there you cannot if you refresh it won't uh, reachable okay so this is how we can shut down and start up the server okay okay guys i think if you have be we have learned somewhat uh, about apache tomcat that is called web server maybe in future video we can see about mysql also and how it's getting connected through maybe for that purpose we may need some small web application which will send the data from your uh, uh, web form to the db then i can explain a bit how the data transferred everything okay thanks for watching guys if you have any doubt please uh, ping us and please subscribe our channel and share the videos if you like it thanks for watching